Hi Pisces. And see what's happening for you, Pisces. Okay, so the lovers card, let's keep that there. The seven of wands. The ten of pentacles. The world card, very nice. Three of pentacles and the six of cups. Okay, so first from the top left, we have the lovers card. Now, for a lot of you, this could mean that there's a destined meet that's happening for you um, in a love connection. Now, for you single Pisceans, this could definitely be happening in the month. This is not a romantic um, meeting and you're not meeting someone, you know, sexually or romantically, then you're definitely meeting with someone face to face. Now, this could be an interview. If it's in a work situation, this could be someone wanting to collaborate with you. And this is the universe, the divine, the gods, energy, spirit, you know, whichever label you want to give to it. This is a higher power calling the two of you together. Um, almost fate orchestrating, you know, like a divine orchestration. And I see you meeting with a lot of people here. Look at the three of pentacles. This is you discussing your talents. This is interviews, wholesaling, pitching products. A lot of this is going to be happening in, um, but um, this person you're either going to be meeting, bumping into face to face, this could be an online interview because you have the world here. This is someone that's very interested in what you have to say. This is someone that is attracting you as much as you're attracting them. So if you have been single for a while, I feel like there's there could be a potentially um, destined meeting that's taking place here. And you've had the lovers card follow you for quite some time now, me um for quite some time now, Pisces. So I think there's definitely someone wanting to reach out and um, touch base with you about your talents, um, about your work experience, and at most um, obviously about your um your relationship status this is someone wanting to pursue you romantically could be someone under an air sign um, I feel like it, it might be a Gemini it could be a Gemini Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so you may be hearing from one of those signs or even seeing or bumping into one of these signs as well but um, this is someone you're very very attracted to um, for those that are coupled up this is you know having a wonderful connection with your loved one, your spouse, your significant other. This is you about, you know, feeling really open and free, strong chemistry, strong passion, strong sexuality in your relationship. This will be an excellent month for those that are coupled up, but especially for those that are single or, you know, um, professionally, I feel there's a lot of people wanting to meet with you. There could, you know, be a foreign influence here as well, here for you. Someone that's wanting to meet you, um, like you might have met online, someone that you're going to meet in the flesh, you're going to meet in person. There's definitely an either an interview. Now moving on, you have the seven of um, seven of ones. Seven of ones is about you needing to protect yourself, about you being defensive over something, about you maybe feel you're backed up against the corner. Um, maybe it's defensive over a love situation. Maybe it's, you know, whoever you've been dealing with, this earth sign or this air sign that you might have been dealing with, this Gemini, Taurus, uh, Capricorn or Virgo that you may have been dealing with. But um, there could be a conflict, an altercation or a debate with this person or with someone at work. This could also be if you are in the creative field, um, you know, if you are in writing or media or production or... Uh, Anything where you create your own piece of work and then you have to um, protect it, you have to copyright it, um, legally protect it, legally bind it, you know, anything like this, I feel like this is going to be prominent for you with the seven. This is you. This is like a message from the universe telling you that you need to protect yourself, protect your work, maybe protect your heart if it's in a, um, if, if it's in a romantic aspect with the seven of, um, seven of ones here. This could also be competition if you are applying for a certain job um, because you can see the ones here that they, they could be several other candidates and you could be sort of, you know, vying off the, um, the competition, competing against people. This could be also office gossip. Maybe there's a project that's happening right now. Maybe you've entered into a contest or a competition and you're really trying to push your work, um, you know, push your luck in it as well. This could also be about entering competitions or um, vying for competition, you know, uh, vying for your superior's um, 
praises or acknowledgements even in the workplace. This could also be um, in a love situation. There could be a minor altercation if you are in a relationship. Um, or this could be jealousy even. Maybe you, you will be a little bit jealous or um, the person that you're with is going to be a little bit jealous because you might be attracting a lot of attention. A lot of eyes will be on you, on your work, on what it is that you're doing. In the spotlight a lot. Um, and as a result, that may cause a bit of conflict, tension or um, and or competition. Now, moving on, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful card. This is a card of new beginnings. Could also be a card of completing something. This is money, finances, family, reunions, get-togethers, competitions, busyness, hustle and bustle, events. You know, it almost looks like a recreation park. Uh, some of you could be traveling out, going to a lot of busy places. Some of you might be heading into a very busy city to attend interviews or to sell a product, pitch a product with the uh, Ten of Pentacles here. This is also finances are circulating around you. Maybe this is from your creative pursuits or your ideas. Perhaps if you have been dealing with an earth sign, this could be that this person has a lot of um, money that's around them. They're very affluent. They come from a large family. They come from a wealthy family. Maybe they have a family business or you might want to start a family business. This person doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. As I said, it could be you might start a business with a sibling or a very good friend under one of these signs um, and collaborate with each other and earn some money um, in an either an online business or a product or you might invent something even or start a you know you've got children here so start a daycare um, you know something to do with children you know write a children's book um, invent a toy a children's toy because there is money circulating around you here and you've got more children here in these cards families pets Feel like children might play a, a strong theme for you this month and I know there's quite a few of my um, Piscean clients that are writing children's books at the moment or manuscripts etc so that's very exciting I feel like you're going to continue to work on this project so you know maybe you've been working on it for so long Pisces and you're tired you know you want to move on you want a new project and I can completely understand that but you're just you're doing so well with this that you know you need to finish it and once you have you can start on your next project your next idea etc but um i feel like there could be some sort of um party that might be happening or an event even or you could be going somewhere where it's really busy um a, a, a shopping center um, westfield harrods markets disneyland adventureland you know there's so many places you might be visiting You know, a lot of you might have to travel out, um, travel with family. You might even be allowed to take um, your family with you and make it sort of like a business slash um, holiday trip with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the next card over, we have the world card. There's a new world that's shaping, you know, that's taking form. A new world is opening up. You're creating a new world. This could be traveling around the world, planning trips, um, maybe talking to someone that's currently overseas. It could be an air sign. It could be maybe you've been chatting with an air sign or Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that's been traveling. You've had uh, maybe it's a long distance relationship. Maybe it's a friend or a sibling that's been traveling and you've been keeping in touch with this person. But there's a foreign influence that you've been you know, touching base with. Maybe you're applying online for different jobs. Maybe you're applying over the seas for an agency to join or, you know, or an agent of some kind because this foreign influence, you know, this, this sort of new world has been, you know, following around you, following you for quite some time now, Pisces. So I think there's definitely a new world is opening up. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's probably happening behind the scenes, but it's definitely happening here for you. And this could also be opportunity to travel and see the world and be in contact with people that are around the world. But this is a beautiful card. Lots of um, possibility. Collaborations, possibility. All bets are off, Pisces. Anything can happen. And it's sort of, you know, fate and, you know, destiny is playing a big part here and things are coming to fruition and the right people are going to be coming into your path. You know, we saw last month that there's offers are coming in for you and they're going to continue to do so. So you've got a lot to um, a lot to look look forward to. 
because you do have the three of pentacles. Pentacles is all about your physical realm, and this is you physically meeting with people face to face. See, it's either you're pre pitching your product, your services, promoting yourself in an interview, and you're impressing people. You're, you know, you've got a viewership here. People are listening. People are listening to what you're trying to sell, the service you're trying to provide, the work you're trying to um, put out there. This is also you visiting places. You could be very busy meeting up with friends, colleagues, um, going on dates, showing off your work, showing off your talent. Could be an older building that you might go to, a very big building, a church, a museum. Could be a conference, could be a convention that might be on, and this is where you might pitch or sell your product. Negotiating, this could be financial negotiation, negotiation of salary. For some of you, this person that you're going to meet is, is perhaps in this field in sales. Maybe it's a sales manager, someone that you know travels around for work and pitches a product and negotiates with people for contracting of some sort. But there's someone that's interested and is going to spark negotiations with you for, for one reason or another. But you're physically visiting a lot of places with lots of people where people are selling things, people are walking around with their families. And you also have the Six of Cups. Children, something to do with children. Maybe this is your children taking your children on a trip, visiting your elder, you know, your grown children if they're living overseas, moving back to a hometown, visiting a hometown. This is nostalgia. This is memories. Taking a trip down memory lane. Something could happen. You could bump into someone or talk to someone overseas and you sort of take a trip down memory lane together. Um, this is also romance. This is the blossoming of something new. When we look at children and these beautiful blossom flowers, we think of growth and development and things, you know, a seed things growing. So you've definitely planted the seed, Pisces. It's about watering it and watching it grow, nurturing it, whether it's an idea, whether it's a romance. For some of you, there could be someone from your childhood that comes back into your life. Could be a family member, someone romantic. You know, you've got two sixes here. Children could play a big part. You might be looking after your nephews, your nieces. You might be babysitting. You might be having them over for a sleepover. You might be looking after your own children. Maybe you're, go you're getting into, you know, um, looking after children, babysitting, being a nanny. And you, you might meet, you know, a large family and become a live-in, you know, nanny or carer or something like this in a big city, somewhere foreign maybe. Write a children's book, something to do with children. Maybe it's a sign, maybe this is the career you belong in, but this is also romance. A new romance is brewing. There's offers that are coming in here for you, Pisces. Not you know, not for all of you, but for some of you, there's definitely either Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini that's coming in and wanting to be with you romantically. Maybe this is someone you've been defensive over in the past. Maybe this is someone that, you know, you haven't heard from for quite some time and then they pop back up. Someone from your, your very distant past could also come back into your life. You might bump into this person. Or this could just be you're spending a lot of time with your husband or your wife, your spouse and your children. And you're just having an amazing time. You're visiting places together. You're doing things together. You feel like you're bonded and you're, you know, reunited. Maybe you all live in different parts of the world and you're coming back and rejoining together. So that's beautiful to see here, Pisces. The creation of a new world. Some of you will be getting pregnant, looking to have children, talking about children, meeting the person that you will end up having the child with. You know, taking your love to the next level. This could even be um, homes. Purchasing a home, a, a, a family home, moving in with in-laws, things like this could also take place this month. But all in all, Pisces, I hope you have enjoyed.